Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production specialist. Thanks for joining me today on Colour Me In for another post-production demonstration. Today, we're going to look at Avid and round tripping via Resolve. Okay, so this round trip exercise bounces on from the round trip exercise that I did with Premiere a few months back. Okay, now what is round tripping? Well, it's basically sending your video and your audio data into another high end application to finish. Okay, uh, resolve to grade uh, the audio into Pro Tools to mix. And then ultimately, you're round tripping them back after those processes back into Avid or the starting application to knit together. Okay, so your grade will come back into Avid and also your bounce from Pro Tools will come back into. Uh, Avid and you knit them together and then you'll start just finalize your show okay or, or called online you basically so we go up to Avid right click and then we go to output and we go to export to file now we just want to choose a location so I know my desktop I've got a uh, AF location now which is what I want uh, but if we go down we need to check the options open the options and this is what's going to come up okay so uh, we do need the AEF edit protocol, that's quite important. If you were going to Pro Tools, please do select the 1012 compatibility, depending if you're on those versions. Uh, it does need to be the AEF, very key, of course. It's the Avid's equivalent of um, an XML. But with an AEF, it can actually export um, media data as well. An XML doesn't, it's just um, the metadata of the sequence. Okay, so. You could choose use mark or use selected tracks if your selected tracks were marked and or if you had an in and out point. I don't want to do that. I just want the whole sequence to go. Um, we want to include all video data in the, in the sequence. That's ticked. I'm not too bothered about the audio, so I'm going to leave that out. But the export method, really important. We want to link to don't export the media. OK, so this is just going to be a metadata sequence, metadata AF. OK, then you click save. OK, now that is going to make um, our sequence for us, our AAF. And you see Avid has got now reference to that up here. We don't necessarily need that one. Um, but let's go and have a look in the folder. So let's minimize. I'm just going to jump into the folder I created. And there we go. Look, there's our round trip right there. OK, and it's quite, look, 524 kilobytes. There's no media attached to that. That's quite clear. It's just metadata. Good. So now we need to go to Resolve. Let's open Resolve. Hey, I really appreciate you watching so far. If you could give me a like or subscribe, it really show your appreciation and helps me make more content for you to enjoy. Thanks. Okay, so now we're in Resolve and we want to just get a little bit of order. So in the master folder, let's create a new bin and we're gonna call this uh, round trip import, okay? Click on that bin, let's go to file. We're gonna go to import timeline, okay? We're going to find that timeline. We're going to get the desktop in here. We know it's in there. Click on that. Click open. Uh, this box is going to pop up. Generally, I don't have to mess around with this. It's pretty standard to so click OK. And our media jumps into our timeline. OK, so uh, sim links have worked. So Resolve knows where the Avid was pointing to in terms of the media, which is really handy. Now, let's do just a quick process so we know something is happening to the sequence, okay? So let's just jump into color. I'm gonna make every clip black and white, just, just for the ease of it, okay? So let's just whack the saturation down. Let's give it some funky contrast. And let's just copy and paste those onto. Okay, so some of these shots need to be uh, slightly tweaked. Um, Let's have a look at the nodes. Get another node in here. Let's just lift these up slightly because they're looking very dark. Okay, just so we can see some, some of the image. Okay. Okay, so we have uh, five shots, all stylized black and white. That's great. Now let's jump to the deliver page. So let's say this is your finished grade. Now what we need to do is in the render page or the deliver page, we need to find uh, the um, Avid AF. That's what we want. They've already built a preset for you, the wonderful people at um, Blackmagic. And we're going to choose location. Now, location's a key. I'm a big fan of media management. And what we're going to need to do is find the round trip folder. See, I've created a folder called Resolve Renders. They're going to go in there. Good. MXF OPA, that's fine. Let's drop it down to HD. And let's drop the. Let's go to 100 megabits per second just for this test. Uh, advanced settings, okay, uh, yeah, 
that's all good. Um, right, so we're sort of ready to go. We just need to make sure that our entire timeline is lit with this orange bar across the top, so we know it's going to go from the start to end. We've got a location set, we've got the Avid protocol set, uh, we've got the codec and the wrapper set. Uh, let's go to add to render queue. Jumps over to the right hand side. Now we hit render all. Now these clips are going to render out and we're almost ready to round trip it back to Avid. Okay, now the one thing that does need to happen at this stage, okay, which is really important. Um, if we have a look in the Avid round trip folder here, and look at the res re uh, resolve renders folder, you can see that all the information and this AF. Now, I found this AF to be quite tricksy sometimes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new one. I'm gonna go back into resolve. I'm gonna go back to the edit page. And here's the sequence here, this was imported. I'm gonna right click, go to timelines, go to um, export and go to uh, generate new AAF, okay? And I'm going to navigate to that same location in here, round trip, in the AF folder. I'm just going to mark this up as uh, grade. Click save. And that's done. Now, okay, the way Avid works is that it wants the media inside its um, media structure, okay? Now, I've got a media structure on uh, this particular drive here, and it's in Avid Media Files here. Now note that spelling, it's really important, uh, Avid space media files, capital M, capital F, no space there. That's really key. Um, if that's not correct, the media will go offline. Inside this folder will be an MXF folder and subsequent numbered folders. These numbered folders are just media from uh, other projects, so you don't need to worry about these, they're fine. Um, inside that MXF folder, I want to create a new one. Okay, I'm going to make it a number five folder, and you can see it has nothing in it. We need to move our media from our, um, our render space where we rendered out to from Resolve into this number five folder. So I'm gonna grab that media now, okay, and move it into the number five folder. Bear in mind, you can render directly from Resolve to this number five folder or, or, or a different numbered folder, it's fine. The reason I haven't is I just wanted to show you the process of moving it from one folder to another and uh, then seeing what, how Avid then copes with it. Uh, we didn't need the AF, so we can close that down. And you can see we've got media in here now. Note that in every other folder so far, you'll you'll see these two media database files. Uh, notice that there isn't database files inside number five. Okay, now that's going to change very quickly when we jump into Avid. See, it scanned that really, really quick. That was so quick. Uh, with more media, it would take longer. But if we now go back to um, the Finder, you can see that it's now generated those two media database files. What are they? Well, they're references. They reference the media here to the project, to the sequence, so Avid knows where these clips are and how they relate in the project. Okay, so now all we need to do is I've created a bin called Grade Import. I'm going to right click, Import, Source Browser, and I'm going to navigate to that um, uh, new generated AF that I made previously. And actually, here it is. Look, it's in the desktop, in AF. And there it is, the grade. That's the one I want. You can keep it on import here, it's fine. Click import, close that down, and now you can see all the clips plus this new sequence. Let's open it out. And there we go, there is our sequence with the grade back in, perfectly referenced to the picture lock. Here are the individual clips too. Here they are, all there for you to, to work with. Now bear in mind, this isn't a LUT, okay? These are baked in color effects or grades to new generated clips, okay? That's the point of a round trip, okay? We could all apply LUTs to, to clips uh, within Avid or Premiere or wherever, but these are baked in um, video grade effects from Resolve um, back into Avid. And now you can add in your bounce from Pro Tools and you can start adding graphics, name straps, credits, bars and tone, and all the other information that you want to finish this show or your show, okay? Catch you next time. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please give me a like or subscribe or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time.